I think this is the best bang for your buck amp that Paul Reed Smith makes. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Dez, and like you saw in the intro, we're going to be checking out the Paul Reed Smith Sonzera 20. But before we do, I'd like to talk about a couple of things. Obviously, if you've been a subscriber to this channel um, or seen my videos before, you can tell this is a completely different angle than what you're normally seeing me at. Normally, it's like I'm facing this way and the camera's pointed this way, and I have a very particular formula I do for my videos. But honestly, I've been kind of getting bored of that, and I'm trying to keep things fresh for myself and also for you. If you enjoyed this type of content and you're not subscribed to me, please consider doing so. I'm incredibly close to 100 subscribers, and the more subscribers I have, the more opportunities I have to bring more content like this to you. Also, my band Miles Jackson has some merch available. If you like hard rock, you'd probably like our type of music. We currently have two singles available everywhere. We have Wicked Tongues and Whiskey Icarus. But later this year, we're heading into the studio to record our first EP together. I'll drop more details about that as we go on. And, if you can't tell, this channel has actually been a secret way to catalog my hair growth. Um, I've always had this completely unrelated to anything about the channel, but I've always had incredibly short hair, and I wanted to try growing my hair out, so let me know what you think. It's kind of in this awkward phase right now, but, you know, all that aside, let's get into the video. So, Guitars and More sent me the PRS Sonzera 20 to check out, so a big thank you to Dustin, Eric, and the team at Guitars and More for sponsoring this video and making it possible. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you like it? What do you think? What do you think, huh? You just want pets, don't you? Yeah. Alright, go in there. I've got a film, okay? Go in there. Thank you. So Paul Reed Smith launched the Sonzera line back in 2017 as this well-rounded, twin-inspired pedal platform, and it came in a 20-watt combo and a 50-watt head. For 2023, they only brought back the 20-watt combo. The Sonzera has been given a slight facelift, featuring a new, darker grill cloth, emblazoned with the Paul Reed Smith logo and the Sanzera stamp in the lower right corner. You're given very modest controls here. You have a global presence and reverb control, and independent clean and gain channel controls. My only real complaint about this amp is there's no dedicated master volume, but that's a non-issue if you get your channels dialed in just right volume-wise. Around the back, you have all the speaker jacks you could ever need, so you can run this amp through an external speaker cabinet if you choose. It also has an effects loop, all of your bias settings for the tubes, and a foot switch jack. This does come with a foot switch. However, I cannot trust myself to get this back in the box all neat and tidy like, so I'm not gonna be using it for the demo. This 20 watt amp powers a 12-inch Celestian V12 speaker powered by two 5881 power amp tubes or two 6L6 WGC STR short bottle tubes. Lord, that was a mouthful. For the preamp section, you're getting either four 12AX7s or four ECC83s. So I always think the best way to see what an amp can do is turn all your controls to 12 and go from there. However, I'm not setting my level to 12 because this is an incredibly loud amp for such a small room. So I'm on the clean channel right now, and I've got my bass and treble control at 12. The presence and reverb turned completely off. Add some reverb in and bump the presence up a little bit to see what we get. I've got the reverb set at about 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
So the reverb at 12, um, it's kind of subtle. Um, I'm going to crank it all the way and see how it sounds. Oh yeah, huge difference. See, I'm always a fan of a ton of reverb. Um, I prefer like all of my tones, like really saturated, especially my clean tones. Um, when I'm playing in my band, I do a lot of, uh, like reverb and delay. I just, I love the way it sounds and feels. that up. Ah, oh, man. I, I'm normally playing like with what is sitting on my other leg and kind of propped up, so let's try that again. Yeah, I really like the clean uh, channel on this. Let's mess around with the bass and treble to see what we get. See, that is that's got like almost a uh, like a country twang type vibe to it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the coil split on here. I'm not a country player, so I'm not gonna like rip some country tunes. But that's that's very like hot country type stuff. <laughs> It's also like a very early rock and rolls type sound too. Let's go ahead and uh, unsplit the coil. I love that sound. I am going to turn the reverb down because it's a little much for where we're what we're currently doing. Yeah, man, the the clean channel on this sounds phenomenal. Go ahead and bump that bass up and the treble down just a tad. It's really good. Let's swap over to the gain. Let's see what we got. All right, now we're on the gain channel. Let's hear how it sounds. And I'll also have the gain bright switch turned off. You can get some cool, like, rock tones out of this. I dig that. Um, it's a little too uh, bassy for, uh, for my taste, especially at 12. Um, I'm going to bump the treble up. Um, I was messing around with the, the bright switch, and the bright switch to me adds way too much high end for my liking. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example of what I mean. Um, I'm going to boost the mids and treble just the tad, and then we'll throw on and off the bright switch and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I've got the mid and treble set between two and three o'clock. See, I really enjoy that. All right, let's throw on that bright switch. All right, so I'm gonna play that same riff again with the bright switch on. All right, I'm gonna throw it off one more time so you can hear the difference. Yeah, the bright switch just adds way too much high end for my liking. Some people might like that, but it's not my it's not my thing. 
Um, let's go ahead and bump up the drive all the way and see what kind of gain tones we can get out of this. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, pretty saturated. Um, however, you're not going to get some like super high gain metal tones out of this. But with this being a pedal platform, you could easily throw a distortion pedal on this thing and get some gnarly tones. <laughs> Let's bump the bass up. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to scoop the mids all the way and see if we can get that uh, early, like, 2000s metalcore tone. Bass is all the way up. Treble's all the way up. And those mids are scooped. Okay, let me put this thing in drop D. It's already ridiculous sounded, man. Lots of five, seven, eight. That's the bad thing about putting these things in drop D, the 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 bridge on here, the way it's set up, it's immediately throws everything out of tune. All right, now that we're in drop D, I'm actually going to swap back over to the clean channel. Throw some more reverb and a little bit more presence on there. Uh, you know, in celebration of Creed having a reunion tour. I've got to play it. thing sounds great on the clean um, even though I particularly play high gain stuff the, ch the clean channel on this is my favorite by far I'm still a little out of tune that's okay it's the B that's giving me a fit it's like my Les Paul um, it's always my G string, and it's on my on this. It's always my B string. It's always the B string, man. Yeah. Even like I've got the volume set at maybe about nine o'clock, so that's roughly maybe 20% of the way. This thing gets loud. I don't think you would have any issue with this keeping up with a drummer if you're using this in a live setting. All right, that's going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing. And a big thank you again to Guitars and More for sending me the Sanzera 20 to check out. If you'd like to try the amp for yourself or any of the new PRS SE guitars for 2024, Head down to Guitars and More located in Coleman, Alabama, Gardendale, Alabama, or their newest store in Decatur, Alabama, and let them know I sent you. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one.